I can't let them. No! Not here! Thank God you came. I've got wounded here. We'll have to move them first. We can't move anyone yet. Not until I get to the base of the station and shut down Darrow's broadcast. What? Why? The chaos you experienced here? It's everywhere. The Illuminati created a biochip that stops people from using enhanced abilities, and Darrow turned it into a kill switch. Oh my God, you... We gotta fix this, Adam. If people realize what's happened, if they believe augmentation technology created this chaos, they'll ban human enhancement research forever. And that would be a bad thing. Yes, it would! Don't you see what's at stake here? Ever since man first crawled out of that ocean, we've been striving to be more than we are. Augmentation technology is just the latest, greatest step on a very long road. But we've barely scratched the surface of its potential. We can't let fear stop us from continuing. That's your belief, Seraph. Not everyone shares it. But you do, Adam. I know it. And if we work together, we can really make a difference. We can improve the lives of everyone, but only if we fix this. Go on. We'd have to get a message out. After you shut down Hugh's signal. Tell the world. Tell them the Humanity Front did this. That their doctors created a virus that only affects augmented people. You mean lie. Uh, it'll give us time, son. Time to figure out how to destroy the Illuminati's biochips and move on. And what about the people who've been hurt by this? Don't they deserve the truth? I had them. If we want the freedom to become more than we are, we can't be blinded by a misguided morality. Some people will be left behind. It's reality. It's evolution, son. Right. Evolution based on my DNA. Please, son, you have to stay with me on this. I'll think about it. I agree. I think it's a pretty good deal. Plasma capsules?
honestly, I'm not too worried about finding Taggart, so if I don't, too bad. I'm taking this the wrong way, or the right way, not, not the wrong way. I guess I'll have to do it this way. <laughs> Try not to kill you guys, but shit. Tiger. I know what his opinion is. Spin the news, make Augs look bad, yada yada yada. Don't care. Cause I happen to like Augs. kidding it really is way down here
What the hell? Zhao, what are you doing? Connecting to Panchea's Hiron project, Mr. Jensen. The most advanced quantum computer slave to the human brain, and the closest to perfection we'll ever achieve. I'm going to use it to hack Daryl's signal and rework the message to our benefit. Our benefit? You mean the Illuminati's? Someone has to override the signal and be the world's savior. And let's be honest, neither of us would trust anyone else to fill that role. Computer, begin EEG sync. So much pain. Sinking beta waves at 40 cycles per second. Sleep, please. Let me sleep. Incompatible master slave oh, check Alert. Unable to transfer control to alpha pod. Uh, the system won't recognize my chip. Neural systems offline. Rerouting control of the EEG. I can't control Iron! Increasing glutamate levels by 32%. So, get them out of there. I have to reach the control chamber. No! I can still control it! I can control! Stop the signal! Security alert. Through the primary drone hatch. Oh, shit. Alpha pod security in place. To access alpha pod, purge tertiary pods. Okay, um... I must be going to alter the signal! Once I do, the Council will welcome me with open arms! Above normal levels and rising. 
Preparing for discharge sequencing. Warning. Electrical charge subcritical and rising. Electric discharge sequence initialized. It's happening! Harmony is compromised! No! Wait! It's initiating emergency protocols! Ah! You don't know the resources they have at their disposal, Jensen! Despite those special genetics, you have been in over your head the whole time! Initiate dissipation protocol! There is no way you can defeat this system. There is nothing you can do to stop me. Warning. Electrical charge subcritical and rising. Halfway to discharge sequence. Warning. Primary plot compromised. Secondary security measures activated. Evacuate area. You still cannot reach me, Jensen. There are too many contingencies built into this system. You and I are both perfect. get a damn thing to open up. Adam, welcome to the edge. It is not the end of the world, but you can see it from here. Eliza? What are you doing here? It is my job to monitor and report on the news, Adam. Before Darrow smothered everything with his signal, the whole world was tuned into this place, including me. The broadcast. I have to stop it. I know. Please, come closer. Do you know where we are, Adam? We are at the fulcrum point, when society lies in the balance. Hugh Darrow hoped to tip the scales one way, by telling the world everything you already know. About the biochip, the Illuminati, everything. He believed knowing the truth would convince mankind to abandon research into human enhancement technologies forever. It would certainly give them reason to fear it. Indeed. Daryl's confession is ready to send. If you want, I can wideband it across all media as soon as you shut down the signal. Everything you worked so hard to uncover will be exposed. But only if you deactivate the broadcast using this control. However, if you desire, I can alter Daryl's message. 
Conceal the creation of the biochip while putting in new content. Content blaming the humanity front, like Sarah suggested. The organization has already admitted to harboring terrorists. It would be easy to convince people they turn to biological warfare in a more desperate attempt to get rid of augmented people. But why? What would that achieve? In time, it could shift the focus of hatred onto people whose prejudices are seen as too extreme, leaving corporations free to experiment with human evolution as they desire. But if you want me to perform this edit for you, you must disengage the signal and activate the video edit function from here. Of course, there is another option. This passage leads to Panchea's pressure regulation controls. Destroy them and the installation will cave in on itself, overwhelmed by the weight of the ocean pressing against it. Everyone inside the structure will die. That's a solution? No one will be left to tell the world what happened, Adam. Nobody will be able to spin the story. Including me. The choice is yours. Do you believe you have the wisdom to choose an appropriate future for mankind? Or do you trust mankind to find the answers on its own? I didn't speak to Taggart, so that's why this isn't available. I did spend time uncovering the truth about this, but it would turn people against augments. And honestly, I mean, even though augments are used for war, I mean, I don't want to get really philosophical here, but even though augments are used for war and bad stuff, I mean, they help a ton of people. And there, there's good and bad, just like everything. But I mean, Seraphs is, you know, corporations have all the say in the matter, but we already know the corporations really aren't that great either. If you do this, the focus of hatred may shift to those responsible for unleashing biological warfare, leaving corporations free to experiment with human evolution. Are you sure this is your choice? Let me think about it. If you do this, the unadulterated truth in Darrow's confession may well convince mankind to cast all science and technology aside, to ensure that future generations grow up free and whole. Are you sure this is your choice? Let me think about it. God, this game does such a good job of making this a hard decision. If you do this, the focus of hatred may shift to those responsible for unleashing biological warfare, leaving corporations free to experiment with human evolution. Are you sure this is your choice? So be it then. Seraph was right about one thing. It's in our nature to want to rise above our limits. Think about it. We were cold, so we harnessed fire. We were weak, so we invented tools. Every time we met an obstacle, we used creativity and ingenuity to overcome it. The cycle is inevitable, but will the outcome always be good? I guess that will depend on how we approach it. 
These past few months, I was challenged many times. But more often than not, didn't I try to keep morality in mind, knowing that my actions didn't have to harm others? Time and time again, didn't I resist the urge to abuse power and resources simply to achieve my goals more swiftly? In the past, we've had to compensate for weaknesses, finding quick solutions that only benefit a few. But what if we never need to feel weak or morally conflicted again? What if the path Saraf wants us to take enables us to hold on to higher values with more stability? One thing is obvious. For the first time in history, we have a chance to steal fire from the gods. To turn away from it now, to stop pursuing a future in which technology and biology combine, leading to the promise of a singularity, would mean to deny the very essence of who we are. No doubt the road to get there won't be bumpy, hurting some people along the way. But won't achieving the dream be worth it? We can become the gods we've always been striving to be. We might as well get good at it. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is Deus Ex Human Revolution. This game just really does an excellent job. Now, some people said it was a cop-out. You get those choices at the end. But I think they actually integrated it fairly well. At least a lot better than <laughs> Mass Effect 3. The portrayal of choice and discrimination and questioning should we move into the future and change what is essentially human is such a huge question to be able to tackle in a game. Uh, in my opinion, this is one of the few games that really transcends beyond just being a game. This isn't just a shooter. This really asks a fundamental question that we'll probably be tackling in the next hundred years. When we are finally able to integrate man and machine Will we see? Is this game almost in some ways a prediction of the future? And that's something to sit down and think about. This time I didn't go through. Uh, I have beaten this game multiple times, although it has been probably a good two or three years, uh, which is why I didn't actually hit everything, do absolutely everything, and I was a bit rusty at parts. But this is probably, I think, the ninth playthrough I've made of this game. Which I guess in some ways is kind of sad, but... The game is just very good. Every time I play through, I run into something new or that I haven't done yet. Or that I didn't mean to do. And that's the great part. You have the subtle aspects of this game. There's things that you can play it over and over. Even though it's one single player campaign, you just run into something new every single time. And that is amazing. If you haven't played this game, if you watched all this Let's Play, I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed playing through it. And if you're just skipping to the end to check things out or to see what I have to say about it, go get this game. You can get it really cheap. It was super cheap on the Steam sale, uh, at least the summer sale 2013. It really is one of those great games, and I really hope at some point we'll can see a Deus Ex Human Revolution 2. Until next time, I'm Oddball. Of all ways to die. And this is just one of the many lives I lead.
You worry too much, Morgan. There's nothing we can't manage given time. She's here. I have to cut this short. Keep going through the wreckage. Maybe we'll find something we can use for the Morpheus Initiative. Come in. Dr. Reed, we're so pleased you decided to join us. Where else could I go? No regrets, my dear. As Ariadne told Theseus before he entered the Minotaur's Labyrinth, always forward, never left or right. You'll be very interested in our current project. We're breaking new ground. Yes, the Nanite Virus Chimera is quite intriguing. I'm looking forward to seeing the hybrid project up close, Mr. Page. And so you shall. But please, call me Bob. <laughs>